Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are watching this video. My name is Dr. Keita Vanderpool, and I'm running to be your next Vice President. I am presently the Treasurer and seeking your support and your vote. Thank you. I thank you for trusting me to be your Treasurer in the 2019 election, and I hope to continue in this trajectory and garner your support and vote as your next Vice President-elect. I have served with the Federation for the last 11 years as chair of the DC Board of Chiropractic for 10 of those years. Throughout my tenure, I've served as District 3 Director, Alternate Director, and as now your Treasurer. I've also served the profession both nationally and internationally, providing me a broader perspective and scope. Just to give you a bit of background, the Washington DC Board of Chiropractic has won the Wiley Pennebacher Award for exercising excellence in chiropractic regulation with our forward leadership and insight. A.J. Gohill, our board attorney, is responsible for creating CBLAC, the Chiropractic Board Legal Advisories Committee. It provides a platform for attorneys to participate and share ideas of what is happening interjurisdictionally. Our board is also responsible for creating a comprehensive state survey of chiropractic assistance scope of practice, both of which are posted on CBLAC's website for both attorneys and other staff to review. On top of that, the DC Board of Chiropractic is the first in the nation to create the Workforce Development Survey. When you think of leadership, you think of doing the hard things when no one is looking. When you think of leadership, you think of doing the right thing when no one is looking. So let me share with you my goals as Vice President of the Federation. Number one, I plan to help support and expand the Federation's programs, such as telehealth, with COVID and ever-changing times, we need to protect the public through platforms that healthcare is accessible and secure. Two is PACE. Three, the Triple CA program. Four, the SINBAT program. And number five, which is Passport. Number two, leadership development. With so many students becoming licensed professionals, there needs to be a bridge to gap the doctor to regulation providing a platform to mitigate potential legal pitfalls. It is also imperative that a regulatory board has training as to mitigate board errors and enforce accountability for bad behavior. And number three, increase our international presence. CIMAT is the only chiropractic board repository of disciplinary actions. Information is gathered from both the state and DHHS. Expanding our reach internationally will catch the bad guys before they do any more harm to both the public here and abroad. There is so much to talk about of my goals and vision for the Federation, but my time is limited. Hi, my name is Dr. Stephanie Johnson. I am a chiropractor. I am on the board of Washington DC Board of Chiropractic and I'm the Virginia Delegate for the American Chiropractic Association. My experience with Dr. Keita Vanderpool has been inviting and inclusive both during the board meetings and uh, during the annual Chiropractic Association conferences held in Washington DC. Now, one thing I love is how during every board meeting when there are chiropractors attending to participate in an ethics discussion after just having taken their exam to get their Washington DC license, is Dr. Vanderpool always invites them to stay for the entire open session for the day. This style of leadership, I feel, fosters the progressiveness and communication organizations thrive on, and I've seen this firsthand with the Washington DC Board of Chiropractic as well as with the American Chiropractic Association. Dr. Keita Vanderpool would make an excellent vice president for the FCLB and would be of great service in that position. Hi, my name is Dr. Liu. I feel incredibly lucky to go through my preceptorship and my first year of graduation with Dr. Vanderpool's mentoring and guidance. With her charisma, her strong face, and stronger perseverance as well as dedication. I see what more can we do to protect the public health, serving the community and creating a welcoming and supportive, more importantly, inclusive environment for us chiropractic students and young chiropractic doctors. Dr. V, I think you will be a great VP and thank you so much for continuously being a great role model for us. In closing, I want to thank you in advance for your support and vote to become your next Vice President of the Federation for Chiropractic Licensing Boards. Thank you so much 
and have a great day.